Hello, my beautiful people. How are you doing? I hope I meet you all in the best health ever. Dear girl, of course, she's back again to your screen. My name is Yemi, and I am filming from Cairo, Egypt. Yemi lovers, this is the fourth time I'll be doing the introduction for this video. Yeah, this is the only way I can do this video just to make it sit loud because I've tried so many ways i think my voice is not out enough so i just have to be under my duvet right now and record the voice over <laughs> you guys want to know the gist you want to hear the gist just calm down okay calm down calm down you are wondering what's going on what has happened so i'll be sharing the story right now okay so it started on the 26th of march on saturday whereby i resumed back to work as I was going, I'm almost at work as I, I'm almost at my boss mom house. I'll be using my boss mom or my boss or my because I said I will be using employer, but employer is not that coming into my mind fast like that. You know, I'm used with the boss, so just not to make the video long or something like that. So, anyway, so I'm almost at my boss mom house and um, she messaged me on WhatsApp that we will be traveling for three days. I just like okay i ignore as i enter into to the house my co-worker was the first one to you know told me that hey we are traveling she first said we are traveling okay i'm like we are traveling to where she said she didn't know where we are going to so no problem so uh she was making lunch for my uh boss so then i'm like bring it let me go give it to him so as i went upstairs i gave him the food I turned back and his mom saw my back like she doesn't know that I was the one she said who is this and I turned back she said that oh it's you Alusha you are looking beautiful and this and that uh, you know what I have a surprise for you we are going on three days vacation as she said that I was like three days vacation uh, Adam did not tell me you were supposed to have informed me or notify me prior to that time like 24 hours prior to that time so I changed my face and I was like ah uh, I don't think I'll be able to go because I've made up my mind that as I have seen the message on WhatsApp that I'm not going anywhere. So she saw my face. She was like, what happened? Uh, why are you not happy? You're supposed to be happy. You show me how I hail her. Well, go at the hail her. We can let me get You will change environment and you will smell another fresh hair and all that stuff. That's you know, how they usually say. So I'm like, no, madam, no, I'm not comfortable. You guys, this is not the first time. This is not the second time. And if you guys have been coming with me, you know, there are times that uh, my boss sister will call me and say, come here, like, I don't like stuff like that. You guys need to give me proper notice. You understand? So she was like, come in, come in. I want to understand. Like she wants to get the point. Like, why do I give frown fees? I told her, I'm like, madam, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Like we moving from one place to another and she said it's not moving it's not moving you are just going for three days vacation and prior to that time before i go for my vacation the day i was going for vacation my boss saw my face that smiling face he was asking me that what happened why is mommy is counting my salary to give me and the mom look up as well and she looked at my face and she said why alosha you know you as a smiling girl so what happened why are you frown i said i'm not frown it's just that so i first said there's nothing so and she said there is something and they just keep you know keep asking what happened and then i explained meanwhile i am my co-worker has a, a problem already because we are not in good times and the environment and everything so i explained myself to them that um i was not comfortable in the environment that we are right now like everywhere was just like you know like the environment anyway so my boss replied and he said um i know i know hi myself i'm not happy either like he said he's not happy too anyway i collect my salary and i left so that's that before uh what happened happened so i told my boss mom that i don't like moving like that when we moved here he didn't tell us where we are going we don't even know that we'll be spending night here as in my boss mom house that i don't like that we wear guys we wear one cloth for four days with one on that way can you guys imagine that so i don't like stuff like that so this is the thing i've been trying to correct guys i is a kind of employee and employer stuff so whatever that we concern me you guys need to give me proper notice i don't like things like yalla yalla let's go like he doesn't tell us where we are going to so and i'm like i'm not i'm not into that, that 
I don't want to go. And she was like, you were supposed to be happy because I've told Samira and Samira was happy to go with us. I'm like, it's okay. You can go with Samira. But for me, I'm not going. And she was like, um, she's trying to, I'm like, I'm different and Samira is different. She may be happy to do so, but for me, I'm not happy. So she agreed and she said, you know what, um, I will tell your boss that you are not going, but you need to go with him to pack his bag. And I said, no problem. And she was like, he will now, you will stay in his house. And I said to him, to her that instead of staying in his house, I will stay there. Nobody is going to be there. Let me go home. So when she said that there is no problem, she will discuss that with my boss. And she said that she called Samira and Samira went upstairs and as she came down, I see that her mood has changed and everything and I've asked her that she first told me that we are traveling uh, after that she now said no she's not traveling with us that I'll be the one traveling with them so as she came she came down or come down she came down yeah as she came down from upstairs her face changed and she went out straight away I don't know what she went for so by the time she came back she came back from supermarket with the things I saw with her so then I just see that she's getting dressed and she told me that she will be the one going okay like, that is her but for me I need to fight for this I don't like the issue of you telling me let's go I'm not a dog that you can pick up just like that you know and number two thing is that I'm a type of person that toilet is the very important thing to me. Yes, I'm a type of person that when I get used to the toilet, for me to toilet in another toilet, it's a big deal for me. I'm, I'm not talking about water. I, I'm talking about poop. So if I move from one place to another, it takes a long time for four days. I mean, not poop. But when I go for vacation, even with the house that I stay before, for me to i barely toilet when i go for my four days vacation if i will toilet it will be after three days you know it's not good for my health and all that stuff so i'm that type of person since i was young when i move from one place to another it affects me and it affects my my mentality whereby i don't like i don't like it so i have to prepare my mind for all these things that's why i'm like okay i will not accept that anyway so as uh semira came back she has uh, she has get dressed and all that stuff oh, quite long that she has get dressed my boss started this thing like he just kept calling my name every like like every 10 10 minutes maybe he's trying to study my face i don't know so he said go and pack he said go and pack my bag hey ah, Lucia, where are you have you put this in my bag uh -huh. have you done this uh -huh. you know he will just be calling me for for some things that i'll be like this does not make any sense i guess they are trying to read my face as he has been doing that i sense that something is going on i went on to discuss this with my husband on on emu and i told him that i may stop working with my boss today because we have already discussed the traveling issue with him already so he's aware already and he was like it's okay he replied back that's okay it's not a big deal so yeah so as i have seen all that sign and i have I've already made up my mind that if they insisted that they will take me along i will rather leave that job that is it i made up my mind so as he was trying to you know disturb me and all of that stuff and his sister saw me he was like i call me she called me and she says nice my i didn't answer i'm not smiling you guys know what you are doing he asked me to pack his bag you know he has bag in his mom house so he said we are we are going to my house and uh, I'm, uh, we are going with my mom and you and like we are we are going out i'm like okay you are saying that to yourself because i've already discussed it with his mom so as i go pack everything in the in the trunk i sat down in the car and he was like are you ready i said i'm ready <laughs> so prior to that before i go into the car i've asked the co-worker that are you not going again so she has hint me that okay they said she's not going again she's going to stay and she's going to she's going to clean my boss sister house you understand for that two days they now say two days not three days anymore like she will go to my boss sister house to clean her house really get the information that okay she's not going no problem and he said are you ready i said i'm ready so we go to his house i pack all his bag guys if you see the bag i don't think they are going to stay for two days the bag that he packed is a heavy one 
he used the small one before and was like if it's not you know i should get a bigger one so i got a bigger one and i feel the bigger one the bigger one also is full and i have to use another one and like we are going for two days oh my god okay no problem so as we finished we went downstairs he was still upstairs i don't know what he was doing his sister gave me 200 egyptian pounds and she said have a nice trip i'm like madam because i call her madam i said madam oh i don't get it I, I don't get it i'm not going to any trip i'm not going with them it is Samira that we go with them and she was like no 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 you are don't going just have a nice trip you know she's trying to run away from me and i ran, ran after her that take your money i don't want i'm not the one going give it to some uh, to, to the lady that is going not me so she said no go and discuss that with my brother I'm like it's okay so then as she has said that i turned to the mom my boss mom was trying to enter the car you know the front side and i said madam i have discussed this with you and i tried to drop the money i dropped the money on the you know the the space where the driver between the driver and the passenger in front of in front yeah and so i dropped the 200 egyptian pounds that we have discussed about this and you've agreed we've agreed that i am not going with you guys send me where we go could you believe what she did she ignored me should i say she ignored me or she did as if nobody is talking i'm like okay no problem and i kept i kept saying that madam madam and she was like discuss it with him when he comes down tell him i'm like it's okay you guys have planned it already no problem as my boss came down i told him that sir i've discussed it with uh, mama because i used to call her uh, his mom mama so that i've discussed it with mama and uh, she said semi i'll go with you guys i'm not going my boss was like um you are the one going we've changed our mind i'm like mister this is what i'm talking about this is a kind is about employer and employee you have to carry me along give me the proper notice not to tell me let's go let's go like no no nobody does that nobody does that i think he was not feeling comfortable that i'm trying to challenge him or something you know so he said he's trying to ignore us so well he said get in the car i'm like get in the car so I, i'm not going so i'm not going uh, i need a proper notice and he said eh, we also don't know we just we just uh, decide on that today and so you know just get in the car i'm like i'm not going it is Samira that will go. And even if you want to take me now, I don't have my uniform here. And it was like, get in the car, we will take you to my mom's house and we will get your uniform over there. Then I said, no, sir. I'm sorry, I'm not going. And he said, if you are not going, then you are done with me. You are not working with me anymore. And that's how your baby girl got fired. <laughs> mm. I want to cry. No, I didn't cry because I've made up my mind. That's who I am. Before I made up my mind, you can still change my mind. You can still tell me, do it this way, do it that way. But whenever I made up my mind, nobody can tell me that, you know, do it this way. So as he told me that, hey, if you are not going with me, then you are done with me. I turned back immediately. You guys, you know that I've already made up my mind. So I turned back immediately and uh, he felt like i put his ego down then he started shouting and nagging and um he jammed the door uh, the car door and started saying that i don't even need shagala Austin and i'm a child of shagala Austin, you know and he's trying to reverse back so as he was reversing back as uh, his sister also in her car she was calling me tali tali come come i don't answer but i just want to be like okay let me go hear what she's gonna say so i went to her and she said don't let him don't let him get upset he loves you so much and you know if he get upset with you you will not like it you will not do this i think she doesn't know that he has already fired me <laughs> like so like go and beg him go and i'm like ha, beg him for what me i've already made up my mind there's nothing you can tell me at this moment that we are sorry and as she was trying to convince me her brother started shouting leave her alone just let her move. She's a stupid girl. Da 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 da. I just kept smiling. 
Ah, oh, so and they left and I was trekking. You guys know the bus shuttle whereby I used to wait for the bus. So as I was going, I was talking to my husband and I saw option bus going on the other side. That means the option bus, I will go with that option bus. So I was at the bus shuttle talking to my husband and telling him what has happened. I've uh, been there for like 30 minutes, then I just see them, they came back. Like they came back, my boss mom and my boss and uh, my co-worker and he said I should come in. So as I got in, he was like, I'm so sorry for nagging, for talking to you in that way and all of that stuff. You are you are a good lady working with me and all of that stuff. I just don't want it to, be, to end like that and all of that. I'm like, yeah, I'm not saying I'm not working with you. Since you said you, if I didn't go, I'm done with you. So I don't think there's nothing we can do with that. And he was like, you know what? Let's go now. We will take you and send me here. I'm like, sir. I still insist I am not going. It was like, okay, if you are not going, it's okay. You can go to my mom's house and go and clean my sister's house. Is that okay with you? I said, okay. And then the mommy rejected that, no, let her stay in your house and she should go and clean the uh, sister's house. And my boss also insisted, like, no, let her stay. No, don't let her stay here. Don't. So anyway, they ended up saying, okay, um... You cannot work with us anymore and Ramadan came and he dropped me and that's how we are done <laughs> yeah so that's how I'm done with him and as you guys can see by the intro and everything I've got a new job it's not up to a week that I left his job the agent called me that he got another job for me I got a new job now and I will be showing you guys how the new job is and all of that stuff yes 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 and um let me tell you the remaining story before the as i left i called the agent immediately and i explained everything to him and he said no problem we call them and he discussed with them the following day and he was like they still want me i said i don't say i didn't work with them anymore but there are some agreement that we need to change i need to have a time that i'll be sleeping because i don't have proper sleep and where i was sleeping at his mom house i don't have my privacy people open door just anyhow you guys know the room i show you there is no respect for that room at all like at all anyone can just come and open the door so i'm not feeling it i'm like, i don't like that and also i yeah i told them i said that we will change the agreement on when I will be sleeping, we sleep. the latest time they sleep early, my mom, my boss mom, my boss and his sister, they stay here with 4 a.m. guys. And the sister, the co-worker will be nagging and shouting. There was a day my boss mom had her and at 3.30 a.m. she said, okay, go and sleep, go and sleep. You know all those things. Then I said to them to increase my salary. If they can agree with that, how we come. If they cannot, buy buy my seven. And the agent said, uh, they said they will, but I have to beg them. I'm like, to beg them for what? I'm asking for what is proper. So I didn't offend them. And they're like, I, they don't feel that ego that, okay, this girl have ego and they have ego. So two, two captain cannot drive a boat. I be how did they say it? So two driver cannot drive in one car. So that's it. That's how my working with them ended over there. Alhamdulillah. I never regret that I left their job to be honest but alhamdulillah at the same time I built my uh, YouTube channel over there I truly appreciate that I appreciate that that I have a ch I have that chance at his house at his house to have that opportunity yes thank you all Yemi lovers for watching I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog thank you thank you let me know what you think in the comment section below if you think I shouldn't have done that or let me know your comment let, let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you so much and ramadan mubarak to every muslims thank you all my my people much i truly appreciate you all my new com my new subscribers i truly appreciate you all and to my uh real mvp that always come back thank you guys so much yeah me truly appreciate your love and your support i will see you guys next time in my next video bye and peace out if I was smart